The Renaissance was a time of pyrotechnic innovation. In the 200 years that followed, Italian artisans developed most of the basic fireworks we know today. But one challenge remained, the mastery of color. The alchemists could create sparks and gold and silver, but other colors were almost non-existent. And then, in the 1830s, Italian pyrotechnicians made a breakthrough. They changed the gunpowder recipe, replacing potassium nitrate with potassium chlorate. By burning potassium chlorate, they were able to speed up the rate of oxygen delivered to the chemical reaction and increase the combustion temperature from 1700 degrees Celsius to 2000 degrees Celsius. Now they were able to work with a whole new set of chemicals that burned at higher temperatures and produced more vivid colors. The modern firework display is full of color. And you make color by adding metal salts, not metals, but metal salts to the composition. So you know if you put a piece of copper into a fire, you see it glow with a blue flame. And we can do the same. It's the sign of a very good firework maker is a really good, strong blue. And here we've added uh, copper oxychloride to the basic oxidant and fuel mix, and we get a good blue flame. Adding strontium salts to the mix makes a red flame. And adding barium to the mix makes a green flame. So with those three and with other metal salts, we have a whole spectrum of colors that we can use. The color spectrum is made up of wavelengths of visible light. The metal salt with the longest wavelength is strontium. It appears red when it burns. Copper salts have shorter wavelengths and appear blue when burned. By carefully mixing chemical compounds, many color combinations can be created. And if no salts are added, all of the colors of the visible spectrum combine and the light appears bright white. <laughs> 